Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Sanctuary Guard product, um, the little bundle you get with the new Sanctuary Guard support. Kind of an interesting thing because this time Bushiro didn't just give us a trial deck, they just gave us all the new cards. For those who are still excited about collecting these new Royal Paladin cards, I'm going to be showing off what you get. Before I get into that, I want to give a quick thank you again to my friend Justin Dunbar from Triple Sleeve TCG. If you don't already know what Triple Sleeve TCG is. Right now what they're doing is they're taking offers for the clan booster, the, the special series collection. With all those new cards coming out in the volume one and volume two, they're now taking offers for booster boxes and cases for that. Go ahead and check those out at Triple Sleeve TCG if you guys want to get your hands on a box for the upcoming sets that are coming out in February. So Going right into the product, uh, my good friend Justin had sent me the product put together like this. Comes with three die. It's got a little royal paladin symbols on them. Let me pull that off real quick. Oop, that's really stuck on there. So there's three die. We have the little royal paladin symbol on there, which is really cool. So if you're a diehard royal paladin fan, these are pretty nice to hold. They're a lot darker, I think, than the ones that came with the. Uh, the set that Altmile and Chrono Jet and Asha were in. The next stage, I think, was... These are, I think, a darker blue, but I may be wrong, so... These are really cool. Um, comes with some sleeves. Sanctuary Guard sleeves. These could possibly be kind of like the junky ones that came with the Majesty Lord Blaster one, but I'll come back with a review on how the sleeves feel afterwards. But most likely you're going to put some type of oversleeve to protect them anyway. So at the end of the day, it's still nice to have some free character sleeves to come along with your set. Um, the box I had already put together, it was stuck right there, but I was a little impatient. I just wanted to see what it looked like put together. So it's got a Velcro fold. Uh, it's got like a, kind of like a clear inside right here. So when you put the deck in, you can see like if you want to have the back of the sleeves, you can see what the starter is, or if you want to know, oh yeah, look, there's the deck inside the box, so you know what's in there, and it's got Sanctuary Guard on the side, or at least one side, and then on the front. No Daigo appearances anywhere on, on any of these products, but, you know, if you weren't really a big fan of that, you know, you don't have to worry about that. So, the main course is, of course, the cards that are all in this little packaging, so these are all just play sets of new cards, a new starter, and I believe that there is a promo for um, Sicilis in here as well, so that's cool. And the foiling is like an SP foiling. And then the box, which I will unpackage right now, but looks pretty cool. It's just like a little card, like a small storage box for cards, but it looks like it's going to be... Oh no, there's like a little crease in there. I was going to say it looks like it's square shaped, but there's a crease right here, so it's a rectangular small box. So this is going to be cool to have, just if you want to keep extra cards in. So I'm going to start opening with this. So there's a fold there and another fold here. Alright, so I'm going to put the box together real quick so you guys can see what that looks like. Alright, so I got the box all put together. It's pretty clean, like traditional boxes. Got the Royal Paladin clan symbols on the side, which is really, really dope. The full art and detail on Sanctuary Guard looks really amazing. And I believe, whoop, the flat came up, but you know, once you start putting the actual boxes and stuff in here, it'll start to stick and stay. If it doesn't, you can do what I've done in the past and just get some scotch tape in there, but it's up to you. Uh, it looks like you can fit kind of like one of these boxes, probably like a box and like a little bit of space for like sleeves honestly so there's a decent amount of space for like a traditional deck box uh like those regular ultra pro boxes i think you could probably put, fit like three of those in here if you wanted to so it's a good size box um if you wanted to you could fit two boxes in here going this way as well so very very nice sleek box uh don't want to damage this so i don't think i'm gonna be using this as like a carrying case like i did for the grand fest box that thing's destroyed by now but yeah very very nice box i like this a lot thank you justin for this box it's really cool all right so let's go right into reviewing the cards 
So I think it's going to do the same thing the trial decks have done where it comes, yeah, so it's one foil, three common, one foil, three common, foil, three common, starter. Oh, that quick shield looks really cool, and it's foiled too. And then the foiled Lauronite Sisless, so that actually looks really nice. Damn. You're going to make me try and get a play set of these, aren't you? Damn you, Bushy, in your alt art promo foilings. Anyways, well, it's not going to really matter anymore after we get nations. So, let's go, starting with Sanctuary, Sanctuary Guard Dragon. Uh, Sanctuary Guard Dragon. So, skill is if your opponent has a grade 3 or greater Vanguard and you have a grade 1 unit, your original crit becomes 2. So, 2 crit. Kind of giving us MLB vibes there, which is nice. Get rid of the stack so it's not wiggling as much. Other skill, at the end of the battle that it attacked, while not boosted, counterblast 1, rest 3 of your back row, grade 1 rear guards, discard a card from your hand, stand this unit, and all your front row gets plus 10k until the end of the turn. So, I feel like the obvious thing here is that you're going to be playing with force markers. Playing with force 2 does seem interesting if you combine a bunch of support where you... Um, give power to your Vanguard, which I think some of the cards that come in the rest of this set do. Um, and you just damage deny your opponent while they're only at 3 damage, so that you just solely swing with your Vanguard, and if they don't take it, you can just pass your turn. <laughs> That's one thing I feel like you could do if you wanted to cheese your way through a win. Um, and then, but obviously I feel like the more subtle way to play the deck is just play Force Markers, Stack a bunch of force markers on Vanguard, have it swing for big numbers back and forth, you know, as it restands, you know, with all those extra, with the extra crits. So, yeah, I honestly think Strange Regard is a really, really cool card. Pretty good grade three. Almost on par with MLB in my opinion, but definitely, definitely a really good grade three. So you get three copies of those. Next up comes with four copies of... Knight of Conquest, Wigstan. Yes, Wigstan, that's his name. Skill is, during your turn, if you have a Vanguard Sanctuary Guard in its name, this gets 5k for each grade 1 in your back row. And then Van or Rear, kind of, uh, when it's placed, kind of lost 1. Look at top 7, search for a grade 1, call it to Rear. That's pretty good for a grade 1 ride. You just ride it, look at top 7, you're most likely going to get a grade 1 Dean that you need to have three in the back row just to make Sanctuary Guard proc. Um, having 5k for each grade one means it's a 25k beater by itself, most likely every turn. So that's really cool. On top of the 10k Sanctuary Guard gives it so 35 by itself without needing boosters. Seems really good. I could see why people would want to play Force 2 with this deck now if you're going to have Wig stand in the front swinging for 35 with 2 crit. So... Force 1 or Force 2 seems to work really well with this deck. Alright, next up... It comes with four copies of Thor Day of Night, Balazal. So Balazal is, when it's placed on Van, it does the thing where you search for top 7 for, a, you know, a card. This one you search for Sanctuary Guard or Wig Stand from among the top 7, and then you add it to your hand. So, great grade 1, obviously, for the first skill. Second skill is uh, Rear Guard Circle. Uh, when your Vanguard with Sanctuary Guard in its name attacks, that unit gets 10k until the end of the battle. You have no face-up cards in your damage zone, cannot charge one. Wow, so that basically guarantees you the skill, so that's really good. Um, and then obviously, again, gives more power to Van, so you don't have to worry about extra Force Mergers if you don't want to. So a Force 2 could be the go-to for this deck if you want to be really aggressive. So that's a really, really great grade 1 too. I apologize if in the background you can kind of hear the workers uh, blowing the leaves out yeah, outside, but we gotta we gotta you know let these essential workers do their job, man. We need them. That is really loud. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, aside from the promo that we'd already went to, it comes with one copy of the starting legend Arbreus. So this is the one that came in like the original Sanctuary Guard Daigo set. So that's really cool. They're bringing this guy back. Uh, you know. Same skills always when you ride on it, you draw a card, and if your opponent's at grade one, you get a quick shield. And the quick shield's pretty cool too. I'm not exactly sure what this symbol is. You guys will probably know better than me, but it's you. It's a nice quick shield, not with the Royal Paladin symbol, so. All right, so for the next part, I put uh, Sanctuary Guard in one of the sleeves that it came in. 
and immediate response is it's not a good sleeve you know if you push on a sleeve like slightly and they do this you're gonna want to put something over this to protect it but being that this is kind of this is a pack of sleeves that came with a product they're gonna be kind of cheap but the design is really nice so I would say it's cool that they gave us sleeves but overall you're gonna want to put something over this to protect with this you're not gonna want to just play with these unless you really don't care about these sleeves and you just kind of need some sleeves just put on your cards some like regular like ultra pro quality sleeves then yeah go for it <laughs> um but that was pretty much it for the product review the sleeves are okay not great the deck box is great uh typical plastic deck box the velcro is always nice to have those little plastic flaps that they used to have were kind of annoying but i like how this one has the velcro so that's a little bit of an upgrade the storage box is great storage boxes are always really nice this one's super clean. The design just covers the whole face of the card. The Royal Paladin symbols, the, I still don't know what that is. <laughs> um, it just looks really, really clean. Like this is just a great, this is a great box. Simplistic and free die. So that's cool. I like, yeah, you know, I like free die. So who doesn't love to die, right? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, the starter comes foiled too. So overall, I think this was a great product. Like. I'm just kind of sad that, you know, we're leaving standard and, you know, we can't really like have, we didn't have the year to really go out with the bang that we wanted to. That was, you know, finishing off standard in the last year, 2020, with all these great new cards and support. And we weren't really able to fully enjoy it, at least here in the US. <laughs> so it sucks, but life goes on. I digress. Card games are not the end of the world. A pandemic is so that being said wear your mask be safe and especially if you live in california please don't go out and play card games unless you're doing it with close friends in a secluded area and you're isolated from other people let's just try and be safe and get over this shit as fast as possible so that being said thank you all for watching i will be doing uh, a review on the Bermuda Triangle set as well. Thanks to Justin for that. And you guys can look forward to that and possibly some more deck profiles with Sanctuary Guard support. I have two ideas already of what I would want to do with this card, being an MLB hybrid and the other maybe mixing in some alt mile stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.